Hey guys, Jeff here with 3D Reloaded. Uh, it's your first time to the channel. Appreciate you guys watching the videos. Uh, go ahead and hit that like button down at the bottom. But uh, today I'm gonna be showing you guys my new case feeder system for the Lee Pro 600 Pro uh, or the Lee six pack. Um, it's been a little while getting this all sorted out and figured out what I wanted to do with it. So let's go over and take a look at it. All right, so we're over here at the press. Um, I do have mine on an inline riser with a quick change plate. Um, I, I love these quick change plates because I, I got a bunch of them all over the benches here. Uh, I can move presses around, put presses on the walls. Uh, inline Fab's a great company. If you haven't checked them out, go over there and uh, check them out. So, um, but uh, here's it. Here it is. Uh, it's going to be very similar in design to our case feeder system for the Hornady Lock and Load AP Press. A uh, little bit smaller parts just because uh, there's not much of a rail system for it to land, the cases to land on. But um, a couple things I did have to do, I had to uh, send out my handle a little bit. But on on here it's not, it's not bad on the riser. So... Um, as you can see, I've loaded I've loaded a couple hundred cases up already on this on this press. This press is going to be pretty much my dedicated nine press, I think. Um, it's been working great. So, um, but we have our our six station caliber selector um, on here, tube setup, seven tube system with bin up top. Up top here for the nine, you're going to get the uh, insert just like for with our other presses. It helps the nine. Nine millimeter and small base brass drop down the holes, go in the right direction. Adjustable uh, nose pusher for you for getting the cases into the shell holder. Um, it's, it works really well. Uh, also have some built-in hardware into the print itself. So there's some uh, two nuts built in the bottom here for attaching up through. I'm gonna do a whole assembly video here on this at some point here probably later today, but um, it's designed to mount up with that back mounting bolt there. Um, and then the upper slide piece, I designed it so it goes down into this open hole here. And then it's also gonna come with a longer uh, Allen head screw to fit down there for your for your stand there. So uh, this thing is pretty rugged. It's not going anywhere, it's solid. Um, so, but it's been working really good, so. I say let's run some brass and you guys can check it out. All right, so I'm in my tripod now. Uh, we'll put some brass in up top. And uh, I got some nine millimeter hollow points loaded up. Uh, it is tall on my, uh, on my setup, but it's not too bad. Uh, I don't mind it. Uh, the nice thing about this, if you, it, if it's too tall for you, you can always cut down your tubes um, and make it make it kind of work for you. So, uh, I gotta extend that out a little bit because I messed with it. Oh. No more brass. Drop some more brass. And we're off to the races here. Uh, and I'm running running my nine mil my bolt feeder and nine millimeter setup. Um, so. in that trap tube. I didn't fill it all the way up, I just put a handful in. So all 
Yeah, it's working great. Um, this uh, this case feeder will be on the website available uh, starting probably a little bit later today. Uh, so, uh, I really didn't know what to think about this press when I first got it. Um, there was a few things on here that I didn't really, I didn't really like. Um, one of the things was, another one of the things was, um, on the powder drop, I didn't like the cover that came with it. To me, it was super loose. So I'm going to be, I'm going to be offering these covers as well on the website. You can put your powder on it. So I know what powder I'm loading in here. Another thing I thought was handy was, um, the on off indicator piece. So you know if your powder is on or off, so that bolt will pull, point right to whether it's on. Just a visual indicator for myself of making sure my powder's on and I'm dropping powder. Um, the other thing I did not like at all was the primer catch tube. Uh, just a tube with a little red cap on it. I, I, I didn't like that. With the riser, I had, to cut, I had to cut my bench out a little bit, so but I'll probably make that a little bit nicer looking here at a later point. So I went ahead and designed um, primer bottle catch. Uh, similar to the Hornady. Um, this cover screws off. I can take this and dump it. Uh, I also created this bracket. So these will also be on the website available. This will come with the bracket, your bottle, the screw cover, and it'll also cover come with uh, two and a half feet of this flexible hose. So I found with the riser, the two and a half feet was just about perfect um, for me. Uh, if you need it shorter, you can cut it shorter. If you think you might need a longer piece, I can always I can always make you up a longer piece. So, But uh, for now, this is what I've been starting with and what I'm gonna offer for the Lee Six Pack Pro. The other thing I'm, I'm probably gonna tackle here at some point is this bracket right here. Um, I, I, I don't like this bin per se. Uh, to me, it's a little, it's a little flimsy. Um, I, I like to be able to run my funnel bin, so I'll be, I'll be working up something for that here too in the near future. So, but uh, there you have it. So if you guys are interested, this will be on the website later today, and uh, yeah. So, but uh, I appreciate you guys' business. As always, and happy reloading. So stay tuned for the install instructional video that I'll set up on the on the on the YouTube page and be available to folks. So happy reloading, folks.